Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of The Cooking Goth. Tonight I'm going to have a weird concoction for you guys. It's not so weird, but it is maybe a little bit weird to some people. I'm going to make a half cake and half muffin uh, treat. Um, it's, I'm going to use Betty Crocker wild berry or wild blueberry muffin mix and the Betty Crocker Delights Super Moist Party Rainbow Chip Cake. I'm going to follow the instructions on the box, except for whenever it comes to uh, heating up the oven. I'm going to go ahead and make it at 400 degrees, finding a middle ground. Um, I made this a few years ago. Uh, it turned out great, and my nephew loved it. I don't know how it's going to turn out right now because I don't have an actual metal cake pan. I have a pie pan. Also, if you're going to be making this after watching this video, just know that you won't be using all of the batter, most likely. This is a bit bigger than what I made it before. Well, the pie pan. Um, so, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to use, but I don't have like a full-on recipe for this. It's just me, you know, wasting a little bit of money. Um, which didn't amount to much. But, yes, here it goes. What I've done here, the way I'm going to be doing this is that I'm going to be putting in the cake batter in first and then the blueberry batter, the muffin batter. So that way the cake batter is on bottom and then the muffin batter is on top. This is how much cake batter I'll be using. I hope it doesn't overflow. <laughs> now before it's baked, I am now going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. I'm going to bake this for maybe, a, well, probably about half an hour. I'll just keep on checking it with a uh, fork, sticking it in the middle. And whenever it's done, maybe I'll eat it warm. Maybe I'll eat it cold, I don't know. But I will be putting butter on top of it and not icing. So, see you whenever it's done. It's starting to rise. It's only been in there maybe five or ten minutes. But this is what it looks like so far. And here it is again. Part of the way through. Still got some time left though. I'm thinking a couple minutes more and it should be done. I just checked it with a fork and the fork came out with some batter left on it. So it's going to be going back into the oven for at least another 5 or 10 minutes. Okay, I checked this thing again and it came out clean this time. So it should be good to slather on some butter and maybe let it cool for a minute and taste test. I love a lot of butter on my muffins. cake that should be enough looks good already doesn't it youtubers yeah, it looks like it mixed together last time I made one of these it didn't but maybe that's just this piece. I doubt it though, because I'm looking at the middle here too. And but yeah, last time it didn't blend together like that. Maybe next time I'll just bake the cake part of the way and then add on that. But I mean, I didn't have to do that last time, so I didn't figure out I'd have to do it this time. There's too much noise going on in there, so I decided to take this outside. Now it's for the taste test. Or it's time for the taste test, sorry. I'm tired. I worked all fucking day. And I just really need a fucking nap. But here we go. Really just tastes like a blueberry muffin. 
I don't even taste the cake. Last time I made this, like I said, it didn't mix together. It, it stayed separate. I don't know how. But I'm pretty sure I even made it twice because I want to say it was because my nephew liked it. I made it again, but I don't really remember. It's been a couple years. Probably about three or four years ago. Um, but, I mean, right now it just tastes like a muffin. A really good muffin. But a muffin. See you guys next time. I got something special planned. Most likely, the next video is going to have to do with Elvis Presley for the Elvis Presley fans. It's not going to be what you're probably thinking it's going to be, but stay tuned. See y'all next time.